Welcome back to AlgS. Today's question is leak code 657, robot return to origin. So there is a robot starting at position 00, zero the origin, on a 2D plane. Given a sequence of its moves, judge if the robot ends up at 00, zero after it completes its moves. You're given a string moves that represents the move sequence of the robot where moves I represents the ith move. Valid moves are right, left, up, and down. Return true if the robot returns to the origin after it finishes all of its moves. Otherwise, return false. So the way that the robot is facing is irrelevant. Great. So we start off at zero, zero. For our moves, we can go up, down, left, and right. And this is on a 2D plane. So here we have a 2D plane. Our friend starts at zero, zero, and we can go up, down, left, right. Now, if we go up on a 2D plane, what does that resemble? Well, that resembles going up on the y-axis. So that's going to be y plus plus. Going down is going to be going down on the y-axis. So it's going to be y minus minus. Left is the x-axis. So it's going to be x minus minus. And right is going to be x plus plus. So what does this bit of code right here look like? It looks very similar to a switch statement, which is exactly what we're going to use for this solution. So we have the starting positions of x and y, which we've mapped to digits. Yeah, We're going to loop through the moves. So we have up, down, left, and left. And for each move, we have a case. So we have case up, case down, case left, case right, followed by the operation to carry out if that case is hit. And then once we've carried out all the moves within the examples, we just need to return whether x is equal to zero and y is equal to zero. So let's run through the first example. We go up by one. So we check our switch statement. Up means incrementing y by one. So our friend moves to here. Then we go down by one. So we look at the switch statement. It means the y-axis has to be decremented. So this goes back to here. Are we at position zero, zero? Yes. So this is going to return true. Now let's look at the second example. So our friend starts here. We have left. So we check the switch statement. Left means decrementing the x value. So our friend moves here. Then we move along. We have another left. So we decrement x again. So we move across to here. Now we've covered all moves. We check if this position is equal to zero, zero. Well, no, it's not. So we can return false here. So this algorithm is going to be running in on time complexity, where n is the length of the string moves and then space is going to be constant. So let's code this out. X is initially set to zero. Y is initially set to zero. We're going to loop through move of moves, and then we're going to implement the switch statement. So switch, we're going to pass in move, and we're going to have four different cases. So we're going to have case U is going to be incrementing the Y. Then we have to add a break. Case R is going to be incrementing the X axis. Break case D. It's going to be decrementing the y. And case L is going to be decrementing the x. Finally, we need to make the check whether x and y equals zero and return that. So return x equal to zero and y equal to zero. Let's give this a run. Submit it. And there you go. 